This is the firstborn of the Oriki, the royal blood of the great navigator Hotumatua, who came to Rapa Nui on a double hull sailing canoe, landing here at this beach, Anakena. The reason, of course, why Hotumatua landed here is because it's a sandy beach and a double hull canoe can therefore land right on the beach and be pulled up above the high tide line protecting the canoe from damage from the ocean. And up from there is this ahu, this temple platform on which stand the seven great navigators who came during the period of Hotumatua. As well, contrary to popular thought, Rapa Nui is not devoid of trees. There are actually forests here. It was heavily defoliated over the course of hundreds of years, but restoration, especially by the people of the island, have resulted in the return of some of the forests like this. This is a grove of coconut. Co uh, the coconut being one of the vital plants of the Polynesian people. Much like, for example, to the people of the west coast of Canada, the cedar tree was a vital tree. It was like uh, the tree of life because it provided so many different products or so many different uh, things that uh, different products could be made from. You could make things, hats, roofs, clothing, etc. And also, of course, food. The water inside is sterile, so in that way it's perfect for drinking and it's very nutritious. And this is as close as you're allowed to go to uh, the Moai because these are the ancestors of the Ariki. And so there is a tapu on them, which means they are sacred. No one is allowed, especially from the outside, no one is allowed to come and touch them. <laughs> tapu. The same word in Hawaiian, kapu, from which we get the English word taboo. Meaning sacred. <laughs> 